Hey, YouTube and Facebook, welcome back to Passion for the Tradition, Brazilian Steakhouse Tour. We're back a little over half a year later. Fogo de Chão, Fogo de Chão, revisited. We're back here at Oak Brook, but what do you do if you've seen my video, hopefully you've been there before, you've gone to it after seeing my video, and you're like, wow, this experience is nothing short of excellent. But I really just wish that I had a, a stained glass window of the Fogo de Chão logo, the Fogon, to look at as I walk in. That would just make the experience even better. Well, what do you do to solve that problem, right? Well, it turns out Fogo de Chão has solved that problem. It's simple. You get back on the interstate and you go to Fogo de Chão, Indianapolis, Indiana. For the second time that I've been there, let's revisit the Fogo Chujasco experience the crossroads of America. Let's go. And just like that, here we are. This beautiful zipper building, it's called the Zipper Building, and uh, Fogo de Show Indianapolis uh, is one of the businesses that utilizes this location. And there's the beautiful stained glass. It was unfortunately a casualty. It was destroyed uh, during 2020, um, but they decided to rebuild it replicate it in lieu of replacing it with a regular window. Let's go inside and you'll see it looks even more beautiful. The original taste of Southern Brazil and the art of Chujasco and the crossroads of America. Let's do it. Fogo de Chão, Indianapolis. Let me just show you real quick. Let's take a look at how your experience starts here. You got some San Pellegrino to drink, Brazilian cheese bread, and then from the market table in Feijoada Bar. So this is the Brazilian black bean stew with white rice served with orange and farofa, which is a accompaniment to the stew, as well as for the meats. And as you can see, it's the toasted yucca flour with a little bit of dried cured meats in there and some scrambled eggs. Some people consider that an acquired texture, but I love it. And then these are just some, I tried really hard to take millimeter sized portions. And this is not even, this is probably barely half of the stuff that's up there. We got some roasted cauliflower, a little bit of broccoli, a couple different types of uh, dried salami. They have prosciutto di parma up there as well. Four different kinds of cheeses, including marinated feta cheese, roasted artichoke hearts, roasted peppers, a little bit of caprese in the center there. This is a Brazilian street corn salad, potato salad, and delicious chicken salad, which again, as I said in my Oak Brook video, these are revamped recipes. We have a little bit of quinoa tabbouleh, uh, 
quinoa-based tabbouleh up there. They don't make it with cracked wheat because everything you see here, with only a few exceptions on the whole menu, is naturally gluten-free. Let's move over here. We have the seasonal lentil soup. This is one of my favorite soups here. Um, they rotate this out. Um, it's always been one of my favorites. And uh, it's, got a, it's very healthy, but of course, you gotta be really careful. I am not even gonna come close to finishing this because we have a lot of food coming. As you can see, we got a lot of people walking around with delicious meats. I want some of that seasonal New York strip, some of the sirloin and chicken wrap with bacon. From the red side to the green side. You know the drill by now. Let's do it. Yes, please. Thank you. That's perfect. Yeah. All right, to start off, we have some New York strip. Now, this is a seasonal cut. It's absolutely delicious. Uh, and I actually don't mind it a little bit more on the medium side. And then we have some Alcatra top sirloin. New York strip, perfect crust. Again, this is seasonal. So enjoy it while you can. I love this steak. Mm. Yes, sir. Uh, would you like just one or two? I'll take two since you asked. Thank you so much. Cheese meat, bacon wrap, sirloin? Yes, please. Hard to say no to that. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Sirloin wrapped in bacon, bacon. Oh, now we got the chicken one. Perfect. Yeah, I'll take one. Thank you very much. I was here yesterday. Yeah, yeah, it's the same time. <laughs> I'm so good, I gotta come back. Yeah. <laughs> yes, please. Sorry about that. No, no, just uh, one thin piece. Thank you so much. Slice it thin, baby. Can you get sick of this? I've had people ask me that. Can you get sick of this? And my response is always, I'm sorry, I don't understand your question. I think there really is great value. Um, not even think I know, just objective and subjectively in the variety and that you don't have to commit to, you know, hey, let me get, you know, X amount of ounces, 12 ounces, 16 ounces of New York strip or filet mignon. It's, you always get a different taste, right? And it's, you control it. I don't think of this so much as all you can eat. It is, but that's not the main reason that I recommend this place. It's the experience. Uh, this right here is the house-made Brazilian style flan. Let's give it a taste. here it's not too sweet it's just that right amount of indulgent it's also relatively light which is important after eating all that meat and here we have the tres leches this is a little bit different than a traditional tres leches it's much more indulgent house-made sauce uh, house-made dulce de leche let's give it a taste this one might be my favorite dessert other than the papaya cream I uh, I purposely did a bad take just so I could take a second bite. Mm. So good. Buenas noches, ladies and gentlemen. Bienvenido a Fort de Chão. My name is Marcos Rico. I am the front of house manager here at the Indianapolis location. I have a lovely selection of Cordeiro here. It's going to be served medium red. I highly welcome you to our location. It is waiting for you. Deliciousness.